So I'll go straight ahead. To make this beautiful potatoes a la sera, we need uh, butter, garlic, and this is my secret ingredient. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use it. This is the sweet sour sauce. And this, as uh, you can find it in an Asian shop or just a shop near you, if you don't find it, then of course you go to the Asian shop. I use potatoes from Edeka. Um, uh, of course, we need also a peeler to just peel it. I think for me that really works the best and does not take a lot of meat. So you also need a chopping board and you also need a bowl where you can put it. But of course, you need water where you can put the peeled potatoes in and you need of course an extra where you can put the rest from the peeled potatoes so let's do this So as you can see, we are done with that, uh, with the peeling. And the next uh, stage is to cut it into uh, quarters. I love it uh, cut quarters because also when you put it in the oven, because that's what I'm going to do, it's going to take less minutes. And plus, you know, also um, the, the style which I want to do uh, at the end, it really tastes yummy when it cuts in quarters. So I would but you can as well cut it in the way that you prefer but this is the way i like it so next up we need garlic of course lots of garlic i love garlic because it has very many nutritious value and i'm going to add a little bit of uh, salt on my mortar and i'm going to hit that up into very very fine piece because this is the final product whereby you're going to mix them all together so let's set our oven in the right temperature i like to put at 180 degrees and i like to put the the circulating um heat in there and now we are preparing the bowl for a little bit marination just some olive oil and salt again and you're going to toss it around that's just like the way i'm doing like this and now that it's done it is ready to be put in the oven so let's prepare our platter where we can put in the oven now that it's ready we spread it all around and now the economy is of course not so beautiful so you have you would want to use everything that you have and voila there we go so right now we've put it in the oven and set it for 25 minutes so we are now at the last stages and i'm going to introduce our, our magic ingredients to finish off the baked potatoes so you guys know that i set 25 minutes of baked potatoes and i'm waiting about 15 minutes or so but I'm going to take the time to uh, introduce you to my helpers in making these potatoes um, wonderfully and amazing to our mouth. So let me, this is actually my secret ingredient, but I'm going to put it on the side. These are going to be my, help, uh, my helpers in finishing off the product. And this is butter. So I'm going to use a, a little bit of this butter, just a little bit. And muscat nose is called here muscat nose i do not know the name in english but i am going to look and then i'm going to pin it down there and this is really to just finish off because it also have a very good taste when using potatoes either way in any form so this is also mine and we already uh mash this garlic and this is uh the end 
results this i re this is how i really want it because i do not want to eat a very um you know the big chunks of that so i made it that it's very very small i'm going to show you how to do it and the last and the least is my magic ingredient this is the sweet sour sauce you can find it an, at an asian shop or here in edeka that's where i bought this one but there are also other forms of sweet sour sauce this when you mix with all these products guys i assure you this is the best product ever this always i it's not like i'm looking for praises but guys i tell you when these people or my family when they come here and i make it they are so super happy about this product and they would always ask about the, this product and they would take a recipe of this so this is let me say my way of doing my potatoes almost every other time when it's uh, grilling time and today we are grilling and so let's go ahead and mix the products okay so this is where i'm going to put my or where i'm going to serve my potatoes and i'm going to make sure that all this um i'm not going to waste any of this so i will just put that on the side and i'm going to do it very fast so the big the big uh, work when making potatoes it is to just wait for it in the oven and to you know peel it that's only what you need otherwise this is a very easy peasy um work to do i think this can do but i like to make it a little bit more for a little bit of test and to cut a little bit of um the garlic test in it and this i'm going to finish off and now the beautiful product i never i have not opened it because it's i finished the last one that was also another type and i'm before i do this i'm going to try this um yeah okay i don't always like, like this ceiling you see it's already covered i put a lot of energy either way anyway i just don't like it either way so i'm going to try my other kenyan style and that's open and it doesn't matter i think that way it's perfect i'm going to take my spoon where's my spoon oh no 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 anyway i'm going to take here i like to take test fast So this is really so fine other ones they are not really this fine wow wow really good but i think i like the other one more but we are going to see the results after this so what am i doing so let's pour this is how it's going to look and uh, as soon as we put a uh, hot potatoes they are going to melt everything and mix together to bring that beautiful taste and then we are going to finish with this and i'm going to the farm to cut a little bit of fresh um petazilia parsley yes that's the name and then we are just going to finish off and then i'm going to show you the end product
so after a few trials i saw that it has ticked onto the baking uh, paper onto the foil and i thought well this is really wasting a lot of my time because it never happened like this so it can be maybe i put a little bit of oil that's a very good possibility or maybe the foil is really of a poor quality um either way i just decided to do something else i i decided to just do it slowly by slowly you know but it was really now now right on and it took really a lot of my time and yeah so next time maybe you can try to put a little bit of oil and also considering the fact that one can also use um, other brown brown baking paper i think that is also what i'm going to use for the next trial so that i can have less work for tomorrow so what I do I just everything now starts to, to oops look good Now I'm going to top up the muscat mousse a little bit. Oh, that looks good. And I I just remember I have something else. Now you do all this while the while while it's hot. Oh look at that. Perfect. And I'm done. So thank you so much for joining me during this whole uh, session. And the dinner has to be served right now. Otherwise, kids are going to be hungry. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. I take a one, two, four, two. And that's it. So thank you for joining me and if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. Ciao, ciao.